Earth, a complex web of life that is driven by the environmental forces surrounding it. Each year, cooling temperatures turn the world's northern regions into harsh terrain. So cold is the temperature that oceans freeze, creating ice flows that crash together, transforming open waters into white landscapes. But despite these harsh conditions, new life is born. For it is on these ice flows that mothers come in the thousands to give birth. The harp seal is an ice breeding species. While it spends much of its time in the water, females require stable ice platforms for the birthing and nursing of their pups. Despite being marine mammals, these pups cannot swim for the first several weeks of their life. They are helpless and vulnerable. Females will nurse their young during the early days of a pup's life. The pup will gain weight quickly, benefiting from its mother's rich milk. Once weaned, it is abandoned by its mother, left to survive alone on the ice until it develops the skills to swim and catch its own food. As early as 12 days old, the pup will begin to molt. Its fluffy white coat replaced with one that is coarse and dark. If the pup develops to this critical stage, it has a fighting chance to survive. But a new threat to these seals makes survival an even more dangerous game. Global warming. In the last few years, temperatures have risen to new records. And with these warming temperatures, comes less ice. In the past nine out of 11 years, scientists have recorded lower than average ice conditions. A new and dangerous trend has emerged. In the past few years, the conditions have changed dramatically in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Areas that were once covered in solid ice are now wide open water. It seems clear that global warming is real, it's having an impact on harp seal habitat, and the results are alarming. And we're really having to look hard to find anything at all this year. Without solid ice on which to survive, harp seal pups face one of their biggest challenges in only their first few days of life. If a pregnant female cannot find solid ice in time, her pup will be born in the water there is no chance at all for these pups. Death is swift. Others faced with slushy ice conditions will struggle to keep their heads above water. Many will not be able to endure the exhausting battle. Others may find loose ice packs on which to rest, only to be crushed, as these are pushed together by wind and ocean currents. Some may be lucky to find a small ice pan on which to survive, but their luck can be short-lived. Rough seas toss the ice pans. It's like these pans aren't big enough to hold anything up, much less, you know, a herd of seals. Poor little guy. He's probably only a week old. And the days old pups must hold on to survive. Most cannot. The result is tragic. In 2002 in Canada, warm temperatures led to particularly poor ice conditions. Canadian government scientists estimate that 75% of harp seal pups born in the Gulf of St. Lawrence died. This year, the conditions are worse. With almost no ice formed in the Gulf, scientists estimate that 100% of harp seal pups in this region could perish. We've observed the most dramatic conditions I've ever seen. We're seeing next to no pups, and the few that we have found are barely surviving in these terrible ice conditions. The outlook for these pups isn't good. 
Despite this bleak outlook, the Canadian government has permitted the annual commercial hunting of harp seals to continue. Each year, the government sanctions the hunting of hundreds of thousands of harp seals. More than one million seals have been killed for commercial purposes over the last three years alone. This year, the total allowable catch of seals has been set at 270,000, sending shockwaves of concern throughout the scientific community. Experts worry that the large number of seals that are killed during the hunt, coupled with the rise in pup mortality, poses an increased risk to the harp seal population. Even though the seal pup natural mortality this year could be as high as 100%, the Canadian government has gone ahead and allowed the killing of hundreds of thousands of harp seal pups in a cruel and unnecessary hunt. This is both senseless and irresponsible. Tragically, it is the seal pups, those struggling to survive one day at a time, that suffer the cruel irony of this. For those that survive the harsh conditions caused by global warming, must face an even greater threat. Man. We must understand the role we as humans play in protecting life on our planet. And we must get together and act now before it's too late. Our future depends on it. We must understand that our lives are inextricably linked to those of animals and to the environment we share, if we are to protect Earth and all that inhabit it. Our failure to act will impact none more greatly than ourselves. By fighting for the survival of a single harp seal pup, we are one step closer to creating a better world for animals and people. Visit i4.org today to create a better world for animals and people.